So today we're going to show you how to modify your Yeti or Arctic coolers so that you can have people sitting on them. We've had to do this because Dave Scadden's frames aren't quite in the right place so we've had to modify things and this is what we got to do with yes. Wiley's Flats. First you need these Springfield release clips. They're a quick release so they come right off. They're about 10 bucks. You'll slide in, you'll see what we do with those with a swivel seat. You got to pop them out, really simple way so you can take your seats off. First you got to mark your holes so you know where you're going to drill. You get your pattern marked out. That's your centers. Okay, so after you mark your holes, what we figured out is you got to have a 732nd bit. You don't want to use the quarter because the bolts that we're going to use are the uh, 1 quarter 20 by 3 inches. And if you wind up using uh, a quarter bit, you won't get a tight seal when you go to put the nuts in. So you're just going to go down and you're going to drill those out. On your X's. Then you're going to take your mount, your seat mount from Springfield. You're going to line that back up. You take your one quarter by 20 by 3 inch bolt. You're going to have to push hard and then we're going to ratchet these down in. Okay, so these bolts are kind of hard to get in, but the reason is we want to keep the seal for the cooler. That's why we did the 732nd, you got a quarter. So you got to push down pretty hard when you get started to get these threaded. But once you get going, all you got to do is turn your wrench and get them to go in. So you can get them in there fairly quickly. It's going to be a little bit of a slow start. You'll be able to get it down about halfway. When it gets too low, you got to start using your socket again. Okay. Now we got all our bolts in. So you can see we put all our quarter by 20 by 30s. They're going to stick through the bottom of the cooler a little ways. You can get a two and a half inch, but we're going to put a little acorn nut on the bottom when we're done. We got a little pack of one quarter by 20. You got to get the ones with the nylon bushings. You want those to lock in there for you. And then you also have to have the washers, which we don't have out here. But if we did, we'd have them. So you got your one quarter by one and a quarter washer. You can use any washer as long as the hole's a quarter. You're going to be all right. That's going to go right on the bottom here. You can see how neat those holes are, so we're not losing the thermal insulation value at all. Then we're going to take our quarter inch, or our one quarter by 20 locking nuts. We're going to put these on. Just like this. You got to have two wrenches handy here, or at least one wrench. You got to hang on to the nut on the back side because it's a locker. And then you can get this one in from this side. And just tighten these down. You don't want to tighten too hard, just real snug against that washer. You don't want to over tighten it and crush any part of the cooler. So once you start bending that washer a little bit, you want to stop. Right there. So we're going to end that right there. You're going to keep doing that on all four. When you get done, you're just going to take one of the one quarter by 20 acorn nuts like this. So that if you reach in the cooler, you don't jam your hand on it. You don't want to get cut up by the bolt. So we just put those acorns on there. Like I said, you could get a two and three quarter or maybe even a two and a half instead of a three inch bolt. But I think the longer bolt is better for it. Once you get the uh, quarter 20 acorns on there, then nobody's going to hurt themselves on there. That's all done. You got the seat on. You got loud trucks. And you got your swivel seat. The swivel comes off from the same company, fits right in there, and slides into this track. Just like that. So now you got the seat on. You get swivel capability. You get somebody who can sit on this, still be comfortable. You can still swivel around on that. And when you want to take the seat off, because you just want to use your cooler, there's a little bar you push down here on that quick release. And you get it out like that. So now your seat's off and you got your cooler back. Thanks for watching. Good luck.